everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now, have you ever wondered why you failure? You are eager to be successful, but you feel stuck in life. If you feel that way, this episode is for you. Today, we are going to talk with an incredible woman, the author of an amazing book titled Cake Stories. She's here to share with us a bit about her cake recipes and her recipe for success. Thank you so much for making the time to be here today, and uh, you look gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> um, I'm very honored to be here today. Actually, I'm I'm very glad that I could make it to today's show, and um, I hope that I can contribute to um, the story that you're trying to tell all the of the audience. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, I absolutely adore this book because of its style of writing and beautiful images and. I have to say that this is one of those books that I keep going back to again and again. And um, I want to start off by asking you what inspired you to write um, cake stories? Um, okay, so um, the reason why I wrote the book um, is multifold. So um, the, the first reason is always because um, I'm, I'm very passionate about baking and um, mm -hmm. I, I love creating um, recipes that are tasty, mm -hmm. that are you know, scrumptious, that people love. Mm -hmm. So um, that's the main reason that drove me to write the book. But um, the direct reason why I, I ended up writing this book was um, actually a surprise. Because mm -hmm. um, I, I actually got approached by a publisher. Um, mm, so yes. yeah, the usual public publishing process is um, an author submits like manuscript to a publisher, right? And then the, the publisher reserves the right to to choose like whether or not that manuscript is is uh, worthy of being published. Mm -hmm. So um, my journey was kind of the other way around. So uh -huh. um, you know, after the the a, um, a, a contest, a reality TV show contest that I competed on, um, a publisher kind of paid attention to me mm -hmm. and so um, they approached me and they asked me to to write a book um, a book on cakes a book on, on cooking a book on recipes like just cuisine in general I, I yeah, pick like recipes right? yeah mm -hmm. yes so um, they say that they they see a, a, a potential for mm -hmm. um, for for me writing a book and also mm -hmm. uh, a, a potential big audience um, who would care about what I would have to share with them. Mm -hmm. um, so that's how I ended up writing this book. And I think um, they also see your huge passion in it, right? Mm -hmm. And I think obviously um, after reading the book, I think uh, um, the book is not just about cake recipes, mm -hmm. but uh, also about showing love mm -hmm. and uh, having a strong connection with yourself, your family, and your friends, right? Yes, uh, because um, as you might have noticed, the, the, the title of the book is uh, Cake Stories. Mm -hmm. So um, there are two parts to the book, right? Mm, yes. Um, the part about cakes and yes, the, the and stories. Stories, right? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So um, the cakes are the recipes that I that I created. Um, I either created or adapted from mm -hmm. uh, multiple sources that I you know stumble up on during my mm -hmm. journey of learning about how to bake. Yes. And um, then there's the story part. So the, the stories are where I share with my readers. Um, how I ended up to be the one that I am today. So mm -hmm. what I have gone through, what I have overcome, what I have encountered, um, all of the you know the ups and downs um, that have led me to yes. to to this position that I am having right now. You are here so, today, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, actually, I am not a good cook, so <laughs> I am interested in your uh, stories uh, more than <laughs> about the cakes. <laughs> and uh, I want to go back a little bit about um, the publishing process. So, what challenges you faced, and how did you get through them? Uh, okay. So uh, this is uh, the stories that I I kind of want to tell people as well, mm -hmm. because um, in the book I get to tell stories about my previous life before I began the publishing process, right? Mm -hmm. But yes. even the publishing process itself is a story yes. that I, <laughs> I, I hope to share someday with, with people. So I get the chance to do that now. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm very glad. Thank you for that. So um, 
It was actually very difficult for me to to publish this book. I guess book so. <laughs> because uh, this is, first of all, it's my first book. So yes. before mm -hmm. that, I had never had any experience, you know, writing a book mm -hmm. or um, just preparing all of the necessary documents or, uh, or tools or, or, or prepping for a book. Yes. So um, everything was new to me. I had to learn mm -hmm. everything by myself. Yes. And um, also the entire process, I was essentially by myself. Mm -hmm. So um, there are two parts, uh, again, like the stories and, yes. and the cakes. Mm -hmm. So um, for the cakes, I had to somehow um, manage to get a portfolio of, of images, of mm -hmm. pictures that yes. illustrate my recipes, right? Mm -hmm. Because usually, you know, people when they there buy There are many beautiful uh, images yes. on yeah. the book, right? <laughs> when you just see like walls of text that you get bored and, mm -hmm. and also it's not very illustrative as well. It's, mm -hmm. it's not good for um, educational process. Yes. So, um, yeah, people need to see pictures. They need to see that, okay, how uh, each step looks like, how the finished product looks like. Yes, So. Um, absolutely. And that, that was the, the hardest part for me because mm -hmm. I do not know photography. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, I have never been trained in you know, photography before. I, I don't even have any, any camera or um, any you know, lighting mm -hmm. devices, uh, all of the necessary mm -hmm. equipment in, in order to, you know, to do a photo shoot. I wanna, so, uh, you, you took all of uh, those pictures or you need to get help from others? Yes, mm -hmm. so um, this is where um, the story gets interesting. Mm -hmm. So um, I was really struggling with that part. I, yes. I was like, asking myself, okay, how am I gonna pull this off? <laughs> how am I gonna get all of the you know beautiful pictures that illustrate my book? Yes. Because without the pictures, no matter what, like um, no matter how good the, the stories, contents might right? be, yes. people will not be glued to it. People mm -hmm. will not you know, see the value mm -hmm. in it and, and people will actually not be able to use it because you yes. know, having pictures is it's essential to, to really like understand attracted recipes uh, yes, and yes people, and yes. also mm -hmm. for for um, aesthetics as well. Yes. So um, I uh, what I first did was I, I tried to contact a professional um, food photography mm -hmm. studio. And I, I was approaching them and I was uh, presenting my dilemma. Okay, I, I say that I'm publishing a cookbook and I need a bunch of pictures and I know you're a professional mm -hmm. and I know you might be very expensive, mm -hmm. but right now I, I don't necessarily have the budget for like a, a full scale, <laughs> uh, you know, professional yes. mm -hmm. portfolio. But if you are willing to help me out, um, maybe I, I, I will be able to promote like your, your studio and, and maybe do like co-marketing or... Mm -hmm. Uh, cross branding with you or something, mm -hmm. so I was approaching them with that idea, and uh, they did try to help me. I they sent me a quotation, and wow, it um, it was lower than the the rates that they usually charge other people, mm -hmm. but it still was too expensive for me at, yes. that, <laughs> at that stage. I know yeah. that. <laughs> so yeah, it was too expensive. So I was like, okay, I, I know what they can do because I've seen their all their portfolios before. Um, mm -hmm. Their products are good. Their the images are very professional and the retouch is is um, elegant, yes. which which I like because mm -hmm. I I want my my products to look elegant. Mm -hmm. But uh, well, I could not afford them, so I was like, okay, too yes. bad. Um, so I I spent the next like few days. Um, brainstorming about how I could overcome this challenge. I got stuck. I was like, okay, am, am I going to give this up? Because mm -hmm. I, I don't know how. I honestly did not know how to get pictures for my book. Yes. <laughs> so then um, I was just, you know, going on Facebook and, and trying to get, you know, inspiration from something. Mm -hmm. And I stumbled upon this group. It's called... Um, like a food photography, um, a group of, you know, food photography people on Facebook or something. Okay. So um, it's a group of people that, that like to take pictures of food. Mm -hmm. And they like to showcase their their um, their products and their images, you know, in that group just for fun, like sharing with other people with the same hobby. Mm -hmm. um, so I was thinking maybe one of those people will be able to help me mm -hmm. because, first of all, they are um, into food photography. They, they love it. They like doing it. Mm -hmm. They have... Um, you know, necessary tools and equipment for mm -hmm. pulling that Very off. professional. Because, uh, but they are not professional, so maybe oh. it, it will not. <laughs> these are all uh, like amateurs. Yes. So, but that that might might play to my advantage because if they are amateurs, then they might not charge like a fortune 
for their work because uh -huh. they're doing it like they, they get the fun out of it as mm -hmm. well. They like doing it and, mm -hmm. and they don't own like studios. The start so, becomes more interesting, right? Yes. <laughs> yes so uh -huh. um, yeah, so I, I wrote up a post mm -hmm. in that group. I was like, okay, so um, this is me and this is my problem. I'm trying to publish mm -hmm. a cookbook and I need pictures and I know that all of you here like to take like pictures of food. Mm -hmm. And so um, if you are willing to help me with maybe like a nominal um, mm -hmm. compensation, then we will both be able to help each other. You get to take pictures of a lot of food because mm -hmm. I will be making a lot of, of uh, cakes for my, for my book. Mm -hmm. And um, you get a portfolio and, and I get to publish my book. So we, we are helping each other out. Yes. I was presenting mm -hmm. the, the, the issue that way. So, um, Were they willing to help you? Yes, uh -huh. I, I was pleasantly surprised. Uh -huh. I was pleasantly surprised that a lot of people paid attention to my post and mm -hmm. I got a lot of inboxes from many of the members of that group. Mm -hmm. So um, a lot of them were willing to help me. They were saying that, okay, I, I don't know a lot about food photography, but I, I just really mm -hmm. like doing it. So um, I, I will be able to help you. Mm -hmm. uh, let's try to set up uh, a time and a place mm -hmm. and um, Let's, let's see how we can figure this out. To make it happen, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. so I got responses from like seven or eight people or something. Mm -hmm. So so then I was like, oh, so now I actually got to choose <laughs> before I did not have any options. Yes. And now I have like seven or eight options and uh -huh. I have to so choose many one of those people. <laughs> yeah, I cannot commit to all of them uh -huh. at the same time, right? So I have to choose one. Mm. So, um, and you choose the best? Right? I, uh, yes, I chose the, the best one. <laughs> yes. So. Actually, it was quite difficult to, to um, decide which one of them was the best mm -hmm. because all of them at that point were amateurs mm -hmm. so, yes. and, and they did not have like portfolios or anything. They, they mm -hmm. just had like their, their images posted on that mm -hmm. group. And also a huge so, passion yes. uh, to help you, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. But um, what I ended up choosing was um, what I thought was my, my best deal at that time. Mm -hmm. So um, there was this studio. Um, it's called 1% Studio. Um, they are now like very big and successful. You can mm -hmm. Google them or um, try to find them on Facebook. Mm -hmm. But um, at that time, they were just starting out as a as a food photography studio. Yes, um, they were a, a startup at that phase. They were mm -hmm. trying to establish, you know, their footprint on the market, and um, they needed a portfolio. And I needed <laughs> pictures for my book. Yes. So um, the uh, the guy, like the the main guy, the, the owner of that studio, uh, he he sent me a message and he says that okay, I will be able to take pictures of all of the recipes for you. Wow. For free. Wow. I, for free. <laughs> yes. Uh, I will not charge you anything because um, we are opening up our own studio and we need you know customers yes. and mm -hmm. you actually will be our first customer first one, and we right? will be doing that for free because we need mm -hmm. the portfolio of yes. pictures from your book mm -hmm. so put it like this um, you will be supplying the products for us to take pictures of and um, you will get those pictures in return to publish your book so yes. it's a fair deal mm -hmm. and so I was like oh my god this is like <laughs> my dream come true. Like, I, I cannot yes. believe that it would be this, you know, easy yes. um, and, and convenient and, and also it's, it's amazing. So, um, so I ended up choosing them and um, I had the next month of working with them very closely. Um, mm -hmm. We had two locations of shooting. One was my home, and yes. um, so I, we shot about like half of the recipes at my home. And, in Hanoi and, or Ho Chi Minh no, City? No, in Ho Chi Minh City. Mm -hmm. And the other half was at their studio yes. in, in Phu Nhuận district. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, but even after that, it was challenging. Yes. Because uh, I was still having a full-time job at that time. Mm -hmm. I, I was still working 9 to 5 every day, so um, my schedule for the next month was like this. Mm -hmm. I finished work at 5, I rushed home. I, I got home at like 5.30 or something. Mm. I had to immediately um, get out all the tools and, and, and the ingredients and, and start baking because yes. I, I need actual products for my, for <laughs> yes. my, for my shoots, right? Uh. Um, so a lot of people buy like stock photos um, to illustrate their cookbooks. Mm -hmm. But um, both I and the studio did not agree on that. We, mm -hmm. we thought that it would only be like authentic and, and true to um, the readers if we actually make the real products, if the products in the books are actually ones that I make. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, so I ended up making every single one of the products that appear in my book. And I had to, to bake from like 5.30 when I got home until like 
11 or 12 a.m. or something so yes. because baking is a very long process right yes. and I had to bake mm -hmm. like 13 or 14 uh, cakes or something for for the entire book wow and you know not every single time it's, it is a it was long perfect, process right, right? Oh. yeah so uh, sometimes the cake did not come out all right so I, I had to to botch that and and you know make another one um, Sometimes I, I had to bake a cake like five times just in order to get like all the angles right because <laughs> yes. yeah, if, if the product does not look great, it's uh. not going to appear great in the picture. Like it doesn't matter how much like retouching you, you put into it, right? It's right. not going to look right. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I ended up baking like a hundred cakes or something because... A hundred uh, cakes? Yeah, because oh we, we only, we could only use like... 25% of like those 100 yeah the others mm -hmm. I had to, to just throw away because they, they could not you know um, satisfy the requirements mm -hmm. for a professional photo shoot so um, so yeah and then after like 12 a.m. Uh, when I finished baking I had to do the writing because there's still <laughs> there's still the stories right that's just yes. the first half like the cakes and then the, the stories I had to write them I had to edit them I, I sent them mm -hmm. to my editor and sometimes she, she sent the manuscript back to me and she's like okay can you elaborate more on this part because mm -hmm. you're, you're you're starting to get like something interesting here but then you you change the subject so so can you elaborate can you write more about this I think the readers will find this interesting I think a lot of them will be able mm -hmm. to relate to this so um, yeah the writing also took time but yes absolutely admittedly it, it was easier the writing was easier for me than, than the baking and then <laughs> I am and totally the related <laughs> yes so those were the challenges that I faced during the, the publishing and yes. um, the making of the book mm -hmm. yeah very very interesting <laughs> wow and um, I think when it comes to photography or something like that is very challenging and difficult right mm. yes and uh, you know after reading the book I am particularly interested in the story about um, Apple custard tart because uh, uh, it, one. yes okay. it, it's reminded me of the competition that you took part in four years ago yes uh, master chef Vietnam mm. season one right season one right yes it was the first season mm. and uh, it was oh my god <laughs> four years ago already? Yeah. Four years ago. It was 2013. 2013, right? so it was four years ago. Yeah. Yes. Oh, wow. wow. Time flies. Yes, time flies. And uh, um, I uh, remember that there was uh, one performance of yours in that competition mm -hmm. um, received negative comments from the churches, and they even threw your dish into the garbage can. Mm -hmm. um, but um, there is a big but. I always uh, saw the positive energy on your face. Mm. And I think um, one of the most important differences between the successful and unsuccessful is the way they respond to failure. And your response to failure was so inspiring. Right. And um, one of the other questions I had was about uh, the experience between you and uh, Christine Ha, right? Uh, winner of MasterChef uh, US. Ha, yes. Yeah, she was winner of uh, MasterChef US season three. Season three, yeah. right? And um, what did you feel in that moment? You know, the moment that you decided to compete with her. Um. <laughs> Actually, it was a kind of um, throw of the moment decision. I mm. I did not really have time to meditate on whether or not to compete with her. It was like I was on the spot and I had to mm -hmm. respond immediately you because had, you uh, had no choice right? yeah because mm -hmm. uh, before that that competition with her um, I I kind of I, I won a um, mystery box challenge um, it was during uh, that episode yeah mm -hmm. so um, I won the mystery box challenge of um, making something out of you know the same ingredients like unknown ingredients as other contestants mm -hmm. so um, actually the the reward for the reward for um, for you are the, winning like you that, were the winner of uh, yes, last a, um, uh, a mystery box yes, challenge mm -hmm. yeah so the 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 reward for uh, for winning that challenge is you get to compete with Christine Ha or not or not yes <laughs> yes so you could you you could choose like whether or not to to do that but it it felt to me like a reward more than mm -hmm. like a the punishment. Yes. Maybe some people might be like, "Oh my God, no! Uh, there's, there's no way I'm gonna be up against <laughs> very her." Very challenging, because, right? Yeah, she's she's obviously like very talented, and yes. and her talent has been proved. 
Yes. It, it's been proved, right? Because mm -hmm. she she won the the challenge in the U.S. Mm -hmm. and also she's very inspiring. I I yes. love her. She's she's a role model. Yes. But um, it felt to me like a reward because mm -hmm. okay because I won that time so that that's that's why like I'm I'm able to make this choice of whether to compete with her. Mm -hmm. So when life presents me with a reward, I I take it. So that's that's why I decided to to compete with her, not really to to prove anything. Mm -hmm. But just just because it's it's fun, and also it's it's not something that you get to do every day, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't just happen to anyone, so yes. it's uh, it's an opportunity. So I embraced it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely awesome. And uh, back to uh, the competition, um, I want to ask you, how does uh, that make sense in your life now? Mm. Yes, so uh, the decision to to join and compete in Master Chef Vietnam um, season one was one of the biggest decisions that I have ever made in my life mm -hmm. and it definitely changed me a lot so um, the biggest change that he brought to my life is um, before the competition I, I knew that I was into cooking mm -hmm. I knew that I was into creating like uh, dishes for people that I love people mm -hmm. that I care about but um, after the competition I, I realized that I definitely want to do this for a living um, yes. it's, it's not just mm -hmm. a hobby anymore it's, yes. it's like the, my, my career I realized that um, cooking is my passion and um, when you call something your passion you are willing to sacrifice everything else in order to to do that mm -hmm. and you're not easily defeated when you get you know failures along the way of doing that mm -hmm. and um, so you know after a month of competing like intensely with the other contestants uh, after a month of being tested with like hundreds of recipes that you know you, you might have no idea about or you have never tried before mm -hmm. I realized that it's it's one of the most like amazing rides that I've ever been in my life it taught me a lot it taught me persistence mm -hmm. it taught me um, resilience and you know that kind of tenacity that that helps you get to where you need to go you know without giving up yes. so um, yeah I realized the passion of my life and that that's what Luckily, I'm doing right now. So, yeah. Yes, uh, very interesting story. And uh, um, one of the other uh, stories in the book that uh, really inspired me was about um, matcha cream brulee, right? Uh, the matcha cream brulee. <laughs> yes, yeah. because uh, you said that matcha cream brulee tasted the same as failure. Mm -hmm. And I want to ask you, um, what does the quote uh, "quitters never win" and "winners never"? never quit mean to you yeah so um, I first of all I agree with that a hundred percent and as I have shared um, tenacity is is something that um, that you definitely need to have if yes. you if you want to pursue any kind of dream or, or hope or objective so um, to me it's like when you have passion for something you can sustain that kind of tenacity and resilience a lot longer and a lot more sustainable Mm -hmm. uh, in a, a more sustainable way than than um, when you don't. Yes. So um, yeah, if I I could offer any just one piece of advice to anyone, it would be to to find out what you're passionate about in your life mm -hmm. and go after that. Mm -hmm. Because um, when you go after something you care about, you don't easily get you know discouraged or or um, disheartened when you get you know difficulties or hardships or challenges or even failures along the way. Mm -hmm. But um, when I mean, you can go after anything you like. But if it happens to be your passion, um, you don't feel like you have to work. You feel like you're having fun, and even if you have some setbacks, it's not going to hold you back. Definitely, mm -hmm. you will find ways to overcome it. So um, that's that's kind of how I, I've been living my life. And if you were able to pick just one ingredient for success, what mm -hmm. would it be? Um, Julians or passion or something else? Um, okay, so uh, about recipe for success, my my belief is uh, it's actually faith. Mm. The the word faith here faith. I, I'm referring to is faith in yourself. Belief in yourself. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, to I it might be different for for any. Um, it, it might be different for other people. Yes. But for me, faith in myself has always been the number one um, factor that led me to all of the successes um, that I have ever had in my life. Mm -hmm. Because um, the moment I start to 
doubt myself. The moment I start to, to you know, to feel like unsure about my abilities or um, mm -hmm. my 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 drive or or my ambitions, that's the moment when I lose focus, and I start looking sideways. I, I start you know um, questioning whether uh, what I'm doing is right, <laughs> whether yes. what uh, I I'm. I'm striving towards is is worth mm -hmm. you and know always wondering <laughs> towards, yes. about uh, our yeah. ability right um, and in doing that you waste time which is the most important you know resource that you have in in your life right mm -hmm. you waste time and and also it undermines your ability to really focus on what 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 counts mm -hmm. what matters so um yeah i as i have recounted like multiple times um all of the successes that i have ever been able to attain were um when you know, I was at the peak of, you know, having faith in myself. I was, yes. um, I believe that, that I could do this. Um, I believe that what I'm doing is, is right and, and what I'm, I'm doing is, is meaningful to my life mm -hmm. and could provide like meanings to the lives of others. Um, and, that, and that's how I've been able to, mm -hmm. to do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. yeah. No matter how hard uh, it is, just believe. Yes. In, uh, yourself, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, whatever your your inner uh, self or whatever your guts is telling you, uh, mm -hmm. just just trust that and give yourself credit for that and and go <laughs> with that because it's gonna lead you to places you you wouldn't believe you would be able to reach. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, just believe believe in yourself. Someday you will succeed, right? Yes, that's true. That's absolutely true. Mm -hmm. um, Annie, I have to tell you this. The more I get to learn about you, the more I find out how amazing you are. Uh, thank you so much for being here today. And I think your stories will be um, inspiring a lot of people, especially young adults. Thank you so much for watching this video as well. And if you have any questions for Annie or if you have uh, other ingredients for success, just leave a comment below. Don't forget to like this video and give lots of love to my beautiful Annie. <laughs> I'll see you very soon. Bye. Bye.